happy guruvar dear listeners welcome you all to the 12th episode of divine margari series tripavi tales unveiled through art and music anger can be good if it's an energy that motivates you towards action the action that moves us beyond the acceptance of the evil to right the thing that is angering you right okay on that note we will begin this episode first hear the rendering of this pasuram which is set to kedara gode raham adi taalam kanai telu ka chelu mai kal re ke ra that was the kedara gavde pasram that you just listened hope you all enjoyed listening to this vibrant ragam under begins this pasram stating about how buffaloes give milk in the earlier pasram she mentions how cows give milk right so she starts by saying kanetinam katrame kanjuki irangi so under has some love affection you know towards cattle because cattle was dear to krishna so anything that is dear to krishna is dear to andar as well right 
so i missed to share one information in the previous pasaram but that's good that i missed because i can compare it with this pasaram in the previous one andal starts by saying kattukaravai kanangal palakarande that is the cows give milk when it sees the calf you know hungry or you know wanting milk or the moment it sees its child it starts to give milk now that is actually compared to the matsya avataram why because fish uh, when it sees the egg right it has laid it hatches so similarly the cow when it sees its calf it starts g- giving milk right so it's the analogy which we can actually uh, uh, see in the earlier pasaram similarly the earlier one was the uh, cows now she refers to the buffaloes kanetiran katchi erumai right erumai kanjukki irangi நினைத்து முலை வழியே நின்று பால் சொல்லுது த டூ லைன்ஸ் ஹாவ் டு பி சீம் டுகெதர் கனைத்திறன் கச்சருமை கன்றுக்கு இறங்கி நினைத்து முலை வழியே நின்று பால் சோர நோ கவ் வென் இட் சீஸ் த கவ் ஸ்டார்ட்ஸ் கிவிங் மில்க் பட் யூ நோ பஃபலோஸ் ஆர் லிட்டில் சுப்பீரியர் தேன் த கவ்ஸ் வை பிகாஸ் when it even thinks about its child when it thinks about its calf it starts giving milk see the the mother's quality or the uh, the love of a mother is what andal is uh, trying to depict here and it is not just you know restricted to humans any 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 uh, living being on this planet uh, and why to exclude the animals right so animals do have the similar feelings uh, like humans so that's what she is trying to uh, depict over here kanetiran katcherame and also it's the norm that we usually associate buffaloes you know uh, with a little negative connotation or with a negative uh, sense of course we know uh, mahisha suramardini i mean uh, she comes uh, on a buffalo only and uh, that is the vahan of the god of uh, death but it's all in a little you know a negative way that we associate animals no animal is go- i mean bad uh, by itself it is us humans who associate or make them good or bad so it is definitely up to us so this uh, two lines also can be uh, you know uh, interpreted uh, as andal is trying to talk about the kurma avatar earlier it was matsya avatar and now she talks about the kurma avatar why kurma avatar because the deva devas and asuras they were involved in uh, churning of the parkadal right the ocean of milk uh, and what did they what did they use for uh, the churning of the milk it was the mandara malai mandara mountain right and to help them churn faster we can say uh and of course they use the serpent uh, you know tied to this mandara mountain to you know help them churn so vishnu actually sits below the mandara mountain and he is is the job of devas and asura so he actually comes to protect uh, anyone or any one of his uh, bhaktas who are in trouble so that is what we can actually uh, you know link here so andar talks about the kurma avatar here now ninaithu murai valiya nindru paal sora nanaithillam seerakum narselvan tangai now previous pasaram she refers to uh, a selvandar right a wealthy man wealthy man who possesses lot of cows and she re- and she is going to wake up the girl who is the daughter of that selvandar wealthy man now this woman that she is, she has gone to wake up he uh, she is the uh, sister of a wealthy man narchelven tangai tangai we can you know infer from that nanetilam serakum nanetilam serakum which means when it thinks right the buffaloes the moment it thinks i said things of it uh, child or children it starts to uh, give milk right and that milk is actually you know imagine uh, dropping Uh, on the uh, on the sand and it's mixing well with the mud okay nanaithiram serakum it is uh, becoming a ser in ser you will understand in tamil directly i'm saying or like a mud right 
and how does this mud get formed it is not just because of few droplets right so oh much of milk that buffalo is giving because of which it is uh, you know making that entire place muddy so that is what andal is referring here nanithilam seerakum natchelvan tangai now the next one panithalai veelan in vaasal kadai patri all of us know because of precipitation that to in the season uh, of margari the margari month uh, the fog will come nearly you know to our uh, head level uh, the dew will be so much and it will be the precipitation because of precipitation it will come to our head level in the very early morning say like uh, 4 to 6 am time right so that will happen so now which means that uh, we are almost in the break of the dawn and you are still uh, you know sleeping so that's what she is referring to the women and said panitale veeran in vasal kadai patriyam so much efforts see we have come in such cold weather it is so much of fog over here despite of all these things we are coming and you no know, standing in front of your door sinathinal tennilange komane chetra so there was a reason why i mentioned uh, you know about uh, uh, anger uh, as the quote of the day or i began this episode on a ang- angry note <laughs> uh, okay on a lighter way fine so why did i have to mention about that the reason is this sinathinal tennilangai komane chetra sinathinal okay anger is in a way good when it is used for a you know for a productive purpose why because we know that uh, lord rama is a shanta swarupa right one who is calm composed and uh, he does not uh, he is not very reactive to every situation he is very calm in uh, approaching anything but he could not retain his calmness when he actually met ravana in the battlefield of course he did give a day for uh, ravana to think about uh, you know the bad deeds and plea for forgiveness or plea for uh, charanagati but that did not happen but still he gave him a chance indra poi nadeva so very famous uh, phrase that all of us are aware of rama says to ravana right so but still what did ravana do is it a small crime no he had uh, you know taken away matran manevie right someone else's wife a married woman he has abducted and he has kept as a captive and not just that he did not have uh, you know patience or good manners uh, to treat say hanuman when he had come as a uh, when uh, we, uh, when he had come to lanka or say angada as a tudvan i mean he had failed in his character at many points right at many places so seeing all this rama could not control his anger but he channelized his anger in such a way that you know what what really happened at the end of the battle between rama and ravana is that hanuman was actually uh uh you know carrying rama on his shoulders and when Ra- ravana could not uh, could not uh, you know control his anger when he saw hanuman because he knew hanuman is the one who you know made uh, uh lanka he actually destroyed lanka uh in a very mischievous way uh, the whole place was a fire right we know that episode lanka dahanam so that, that is a very famous episode in the sundara kandam right so more than rama he actually hated hanuman more so what did uh, uh, ravana do he started aiming all his arrows at hanuman and Ra- and rama could not actually uh, you know bear that because hanuman was his supreme or prime devotee or prime disciple we can say for that matter and he cannot tolerate uh, he can actually tolerate Uh, him being affected or uh, him being punished or whatever it is but he cannot tolerate uh, his devotee is being troubled so that moment rama actually got anger and he you know channelized his anger and he took his bond and uh, then uh, uh, you know directed his arrow towards ravana and killed him so that particular battle you know how 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 uh, 
how fierce that battle would have been so and and imagines that and uh, she says she depicts that beautifully in this one particular line sinathina tennilengai komane chetra next one manathukku iniyani now we will get a bigger doubt and and is actually a bhakta of krishna right she can never uh, uh, second line um, krishna so it is always krishna for her but when did she become a rama devotee and, and this known base also for krishna right now she starts uh, stating manathukku giniyane but how much ever you say right rama for his character he was a ekapatni uh, uh, viradan and uh, for all these qualities and of course the way he killed ravana his valor and everything he is someone you know uh, very close and special to the heart but but of course krishna is like 90% in her heart but of course she could not leave rama as well as we mentioned in the previous episodes as well uh, and are always draws you know like parallel comparisons between uh, shrimad bahavatam and uh, ramayana and one more interesting thing to notice this bhagavatam istri right who is sleeping actually every woman in uh, each of these pasurams are actually equal to an alvar only so every one are bhagavatam istri or she imagines them to be you know who had been in the dwapara yugam along with krishna as a gopika as a ayar padi woman so she imagines that way and gives due respect to every woman so now uh, she says this woman who is sleeping maybe she is not getting up because she is a ramar bhakte maybe she has you know like a, a, a soft corner or she is more close to rama than krishna that is why she is not uh, joining this known bill look at the imagination of andard here manatikki iniyane paadavum nee vai thirava listen today we are singing in praise of rama we are not singing in praise of krishna krishna will have only little portion of the bhajane segment but we'll sing more about rama so you come and join us today so in a in a lighter sense we can take it that way as well ini than elindira ee denna peru peru rakam now i have said right we'll sing uh, hymns in praise of rama now at least you can get up right it is already getting late i have convinced you convinced enough now now at least you can get up right anai tillattarum arinde lor empavai so she finished this this pasuram like see i wanted to uh, come and uh, wake you up silently only but now almost everyone in our group have assembled promptly uh, even the women from say the sixth pasuram let's keep it as a sixth uh, house sixth house to 11th house they have also assembled uh, uh, now it is only you who uh, is remaining and i have to shout all the more to wake you up and because of that everyone are aware that this 12th house women is not yet you know joining this uh, known bit what can i do you tell me so it is better you wake up soon so that's how andal is um, finishing up this pasaram it's a very beautiful pasaram and of course an odd man out we can say because suddenly we are getting to uh, hear the episode uh from uh, ramayana and of course one of the important episodes from the yuddha kandam right something that is of uh, great interest for all of us i mean of course sundara kandam is very dear uh, but yuddha kandam is also one thing that is very interesting for all of us so i hope you all liked listening to this episode so so we have covered matsyavataram kurma avataram and our has covered two avatars right so 13th pasuram any guesses as to what andal will cover i mean which avataram she will highlight uh, after matsya kurma it is varaha right is it varaha okay keep guessing stay tuned whether she highlights about varaha or is it something else right okay on that uh, note we'll finish this episode and have a great day everyone